Item number SCP-6595, Security Level 4. Containment Class Neutralized. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-6595 is currently contained in Commercial Video Vault J3 of the Recorded Media Section of the Site-322 Archives. The Jim Henson Company has been questioned regarding the creation of SCP-6595, but has insisted that they are not knowledgeable of it and currently deny liability. Waldo has been implanted into the Henson Company's online archive in order to search for instances of SCP-6595 and or items relating to its creation. Foundation Web Coring Team Alpha Sion Joseph is to monitor video hosting platforms for references and uploads of SCP-6595. Users with a screen named Coffee Pals or iterations thereof are to be removed at first notice. Update 23rd of March 2014 SCP-6595 is considered neutralized. No containment procedures have been deemed necessary. Description SCP-6595 refers to advertisements innocuous to those created by Jim Henson for the now defunct Wilkins Coffee Company. The advertisements feature Wilkins, a yellow vaguely reptilian puppet, and Watkins, a red conical puppet with an orange spherical nose. The Wilkins Coffee advertisements aired between 1957 and 1961 in the Washington, D.C. area. Each range between 10 to 15 seconds and followed a similar format. Wilkins will question Watkins regarding his preference for Wilkins coffee. Watkins would state that it dislikes the products and Wilkins would harm, kill, and or cause the death of Watkins. The advertisement would then cut to a sound shot of a Wilkins coffee product. Some advertisements would have Wilkins threaten the collective viewership as well. SCP-6595 manifests on YouTube.com as Wilkins Coffee commercial compilations uploaded from the user Coffee Pals. Note, this user has also gone by the screen names C Zero Fee Pals, Caffeine Friends, Espresso Combates, and Freak you, stop removing me, I like coffee, among others. Attempts to terminate the channels that post SCP-6595 have previously succeeded. However, a new channel will be created once the previous is deleted. The first two to three minutes of SCP-6595 affected videos will be dedicated to previously aired advertisements before shifting to SCP-6595 instances. SCP-6595 instances will contain major alterations to subject matter, dialogue, costumes, and or backgrounds. Instances will instead focus on an aspect of the individual viewing them, including their personal troubles, places of employment, physical attributes, and family members, among others. Addendum 6595-1 Testing Log Test ID 6595-2 The Subject The SCP-6595 Research Team Result in Advertisement Both puppets are in frame The entirety of Watkins shrouded under the white lab coat The Foundation's logo is stitched on the right breast pocket A large egg is poking out the collar Hey dear science guy, I heard you didn't like Wilkins coffee I'm too busy for coffee. Two human hands quickly move into frame and violently grasp Watkins. The hands slam Watkins into the table with extreme force. The egg shatters and Watkins falls out of frame, groaning in pain. Wilkins keeps you from cracking under pressure. Footage cuts to a large can of Wilkins coffee. Test ID 6595-5 Subject D32451 we saw an advertisement. Both puppets are in frame. Watkins is clothed in an orange jumpsuit reminiscent of a D-class in uniform. The SCP Foundation logo is hung against the backdrop. 
Shouldn't you be working? I don't feel like it. Why don't you have some Welcome's Instant Coffee? It'll pick you up. I hate coffee. Off screen, sounds of metal chains and alarms are heard. A large puppet of a nondescript monster servant comes in from the right and pursues Watkins. Welcome's watches as the two puppets run back and forth. Things just seem to happen to people who don't drink Wilkins. Wilkins and the monster run off screen. Two seconds later, ripping and chewing are audible. Wilkins remains in the frame, however, it does not move. Footage cuts to three small cans of Wilkins instant coffee. Test ID 6595 Subject Guest Dr. Peter Duggan. Resulting advertisement. Both puppets are in frame. They are wearing Foundation uniforms. Both have large name tags clipped to them. Welcomes reads, Director Log. And Welcomes reads, Duggan. Can you get me some of that Welcomes coffee? I'm feeling tired. No, that coffee stinks. That's no way to talk to the Director. What are you going to do? Fire me? From behind its back, Wilkins pulls out a lit match and throws it at Watkins, who immediately erupts into flames. This triggers the sprinkler system. Wilkins' copy sure does fire you up. Footage cut to a small plastic tube of Wilkins' instant coffee. Addendum 6595-2 Recovery of SCP-6595 Instances Waldo was initiated following Addendum 6595-1, a location in New York City, New York, was marked as the source location of the uploader. An investigation uncovered the location of origin to be the Jim Henson Studios archive, which was subsequently designated as a priority place of interest. In conjunction with the above discovery, research personnel reopened the SCP-6690 file. Senior researcher Anthony Shacko was assigned to the New York location to perform another interview with the members of the Muppet Show cast. Transcript Members Senior researcher Anthony Shacko Kermit the Frog Various members of the Muppet Show cast Begin now! Thank you for meeting with me, Kermit. I know how busy you are. Two voices are heard loudly laughing in another room across the hallway, belonging to Statler and Rodolf. A pair of Muppets, these something old men. They serve as hecklers during the Muppet Show, currently launching insults at Kermit the Frog of Fozzie Bear. Busy? Busy doing what? Boring the audience? <laughs> Kermit glares at the closed door. Well, you guys! Uh, where do you want to start, Mr. Shackle? I'm going to need you to think back for this one. Fifty, sixty years to be exact. We found some videos of two Muppets for a company called Wilkins Coffee. They're named Wilkins and Watkins. Oh, jeez, you have no clue what those two Nimrods have been putting me through for forty years. I'm a professional. I ran a show to the highest standard and work with professionals. Those two... The door of the interview room is suddenly opened. The Muppet Beaker, the assistant of Dr. Benson Honeydew, a scientist and inventor. Beaker is currently on the receiving end of slapstick-style punchlines, where Beaker is injured by Honeydew's inventions. Is seen with a pair of sunglasses on his face. The sunglasses have numerous wires taken out of them, and the lenses have been replaced with solar panels. Kermit approaches the door. Meep, 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 meep. Slow down, Beaker. I can't understand you. Meep, 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 meep. Suddenly, the sunglasses burst into flames. Beaker begins running back and forth through the hallway, meeping loudly as it does. Dr. Bunting Hillendew quickly approaches the doorway. Mr. Kermit, I see Beaker already demonstrated my solar-powered sunglasses. I think they're malfunctioning. Uh, quite the contrary. They seem a bit too effective in absorbing the sunlight. I don't have time for your science, Bumble Jumble. I'm in the middle of an important meeting. Mr. Kermit, this is a very important breakthrough. I'll break through this door and show you what's important. That's not possible, Mr. Kermit. 
Why is that? Well, Mr. Comet, the door is open. Comet slams the door and returns to the table. That's a normal day around here. I assumed I loved the bits on the Muppet Show were script. You give us a bit too much credit if you think we made up everything on the show by ourselves. The only real scripting we did was when the film was cut and edited. Huh. Learn something new every day. Wilkins and Watkins, uh, what can you tell me about him? Uh, they're more of a ghost story than anything. Hensley got rid of them as soon as he could because they always give them a bad feeling. I was around. He was using me for some skit, but I never really saw them other than a passing glance. Are they still around? I'm as in the dark as you are on that. When's the last time you saw them? Uh, probably the middle of 61. That was when the Wilkins commercial contract ended. Never saw them after that, and Henson was hesitant to talk about them. Always said that we can't see them anymore. If it's all right for me to ask, Mr. Shackle, why are you asking about them? We've been noticing oddities that have been to two. There are online compilations of their ads. Most are normal, but some are a bit more out there, even for Henson's standard. What do you mean? The ads talk about the people watching them. I see, I see. Won't be the first t What? Uh, nothing, nothing. Uh, do you have any more questions? Will they know that Wilkins Coffee is out of business? If they're still kicking in those internet videos, I doubt it. Did Henson say anything about them? Anything that would lead you to a location they might be at? Any hints? Hmm, all he said was, I didn't like Wilkins Coffee. End log. Following this interview, the Foundation was permitted to enter the Henson Library archives. Kermit allowed the recovery team access into a cordoned basement level, where an open metal box of VHS tapes and film reels were found. This box is unlabeled, and the tapes are not documented in the archives repository. Next to the box was a laptop, logged into the YouTube account, CoffeePals underscore 554 and multiple electrical cords soldered to the box. Red fur fibers found in the carpet and on the laptop, belonging to an unknown source. Kermit claimed that it was unaware that this was occurring within the Henson archive, and does not know who would be responsible. Addendum 6595-3 Testing log continues. After the Foundation recovered the source tapes, all instances of SCP-6595 on YouTube.com ceased activity. Accounts under the Coffee Pals moniker have also since appearing following the deletion of the aforementioned Coffee Pals underscore 554. A number of differences were noticed when viewing the physical tapes and reels. Wilkins and Wonkins will now commonly directly address, threaten, or attempt to converse with the viewer. Test ID 6595-11 Subject, Dr. Brandon Levers, instructed to rewind the advertisement at various intervals. He saw an advertisement. Both puppets are in frame. A little birdie. Dr. Levers rewinds. When the video resumes, Wilkins and Watkins dance around his surroundings in confusion. What was that? I think I have an idea. Should we keep... Dr. Levers rewinds. The video resumes. Showing an empty set. The picture turns to static after five seconds of silence. It cuts to a shot of Wilkins' face staring blankly into the lens. Heavy breathing is audible. Test ID 6595-12 Subject, Dr. Brendan Leavers Resolved advertisement. Wilkins is in frame with the company logo hanging behind it. Wilkins enters wearing a brown toupee and a lab coat. Hey there, SCP Foundation Dr. Brendan Nevers, Social Security Number Beep. Yes, I'm Brendan Nevers, Social Security Number Beep, and I like me writing movies because my brain can't keep up. How do you know all about me? Seeing me say I know that your mother lives in Stapping Ferns Nursing Home. She sure does live there. She also keeps her door unlocked despite warnings from me, her son. How do you know all this about me? Wilkins Coffee keeps your brain focused. 
Well, I hate coffee, and I hate Wilkins. Wait a minute now, an act of mine lets you remember a bunch of things, like your allergy to bees. Why would I? Puppets of bees from Wilkins runs off to the right. Footage cuts to a stack of Wilkins coffee cans. The logo has been replaced with text reading, Leave us coffee, in a similar typeface. Test ID 659516. Subject, Dr. Nathan Fredericks. Resulting advertisements. Wilkins is in frame with the company logo hanging in the backdrop. It looks to the camera. Hi, Doc. You like Wilkins coffee? Are you talking to me? Yeah, silly. What you say to a hot steaming cup of Wilkins coffee? Can you see me? Course I can. And I can see you don't have a nice cup of Wilkins. Wait, wait. Uh, where's this being filmed? Who's making these? Buddy, I'm trying to ask you about Wilkins Coffee. Quit going off topic. I don't care about Wilkins Coffee. Please answer my. A large poster unfurls behind Wilkins. It depicts a photograph of a female child, identified as Dr. Frederick's daughter, with the word missing written above it. Things just seem to happen to people who don't drink Wilkins. Footage cuts to a white mug and a half-filled coffee pot emblazoned with the Wilkins Coffee logo. Addendum 6595-3 Incident Log Test ID 6595-20 Subject Dr. Zever Locke Instructed to explain that Wilkins Coffee no longer exists. Resultant Advertisement The two Muppets are in frame, with the Wilkins Coffee logo hanging on the stage curtains behind them. Wilkins looks into the camera. Hey, Thea, you ever have a nice warm glass of Wilkins coffee in the morning? My friend here thinks it's not all that. Can you hear me? Thought you science fellas already figured that out a few days ago. Yes, I have to make sure, and no, I haven't had Wilkins coffee. And why's that? Not a coffee drinker, or do you just have no taste? I have to inform you, regretfully, that the Wilkins coffee company no longer exists. Sure it does, silly. I have a can right here. Wilkins walks out of frame, returning a few seconds later. The video quality is observed to degrade. We are out of cans. They're gone. What do you mean, they're gone? They're not here. I don't know what to tell you. Wilkins paces out of frame. The Wilkins logo collapses, startling Wilkins. The tape cuts to a new scene. Wilkins and Wilkins are standing in front of a blank background. The turn is missing, revealing the white sheetrock behind them. The stage is dimly lit. Hey there, do you drink Wilkins coffee? No, I hate Wilkins coffee. Me too. Subsequent testing has found that all footage will only display a video of Wilkins and Watkins silently staring into the screen, unmoving, and mouths agape. Object reclassified as neutralized.